What's up, Aquarius? It's your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot Bee in Boston, straight from my bed. So I'm on bed rest, figured I would drag everything in here since my office isn't done yet anyway, and I would get my readings done. I've been spacing them out a bit due to people taking content and things like that, um, but you will still be getting two readings a month. I just need to squeeze them into the month. Um, I just want to remind you guys, I do have visiting nurses at home and doctor's appointments outside of this. So I'm keeping up with the schedule as best as I can around the construction. Anyway, um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Um, if you are cross-watching, welcome to the Queen Bee. I like new people here. Uh, this is a very loving and caring community. So we try to patrol it, if you will as best as we can, and we ignore negative people. Um, sometimes we'll answer and get rid of them, but most of the time we just ignore them. So anyway, um, if this energy, I'm going to say for the sake of everyone's sanity here, so we don't get confused, um, I'm going to say Aquarius, but it could come in and vice versa energy, which means it could come in that Aquarius is doing this to you. So just keep that in mind while you're watching and um, remember that my God, I put stuff down and I can't find it and I'm just sitting in a bed. Go figure. Uh, <laughs> keep in mind that we do know that the, this energy can sometimes, with certain signs with me, it comes in uh, cross. So um, anyway, Aquarius, I feel like this is a continuation of what you've been dealing with for quite some time. Um, I feel like it's... Someone is keeping you hooked up in the justice system, or they're keeping from you things that belong to you. Um, and I feel like you're getting frustrated with it. Um, the situation definitely involved someone that you really, really cared about and a third party. And now I feel like there's all kinds of parties in this. Like, I feel like... Um, just a huge loss of things and having to fight to get back what belongs to you. It's been a lot of anxiety, a really long road, and I feel like at this point you just want it settled, but for some reason, this person is keeping it... They keep putting something in the way. There's constantly an obstacle of you moving on from this, and graduating it, if you will, and it becoming your past instead of your present, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, I feel like you have a lot at stake here, and then that's why you're being so careful. This person that you're with, very in and out of your life, um, very all over the place, But I do feel like something came to light for you. I do feel like the truth's starting to come out, even though this process, they keep trying to hold up the process. I feel like in the midst of doing that, the truth is coming forward for you. The truth is really coming out about what's happening here. Um, and you're really in the midst of losing your patience. You're now finding a reason to be patient because it's like the longer this prolongs itself, the more information comes out about the situation to make sense to you. I feel like this was kind of a cluster that didn't really make sense. And it feels like there's so many people involved here, like different love interests on both parties. Um, and really having to make some harsh decisions here. Uh, really having to keep tight on your money, hold on to the resources that you currently have because your resources feel like they're caught up in something. Whether you guys own a business together, whether you're business partners, um, own a house, whatever it is, it's a matter of it being caught up. And so you're having to really limit your resources here. But you're just, you're done fighting with this person. You now know for sure that this person has another love interest behind, or did, behind your back. 
It seems like you both have moved on from the feelings of the situation. Um, but at the same time, you're still caught up by whatever legal processes there are or um, whatever things have been taken from you that you're trying to get back. And I feel like you were really taken by this person for quite some time. Um, you know, they made you believe that, you know, you were everything in their world. And then all of a sudden, after time, things really, really changed. And they became somebody that you didn't really know and you couldn't really handle or stand. This definitely wasn't the person for you. And you may have spent a long time with this person or have known them a long time. And it's almost like you knew that there was somebody on the side. Um, I feel like your love interest came after you found out about the third party on the other side. Um, your gut instinct was telling you, but part of you didn't really want to believe it. Part of you didn't really think this person would do that to you. But the other part of you knew by the way that they were turning hot and cold with you. You know, one day it's come home from work and happy to see the wife and kids or the husband and kids or, you know, happy to see you. And then it's like the next time they come home, they're they're off. Their behavior's off. You just can sense or smell something on them that doesn't feel quite right. So you're really coming out of the stage of, you know, arguing with them and, um, <coughs> giving and not getting back. You're really coming out of the stage of, um, understanding your instincts, really. You're coming out of the stage of misunderstanding these red flags with this person. You've got the high priestess in the middle, and then you have the five of coins on the right, and you have, um, the five of wands on the left. So this is really coming out of argument, realizing that you can't really win an argument with this person. They're not a very logical individual. And they're very hot and cold with you for a reason. So it's like finally realizing these are all the red flags I've been seeing all along. Arguing with this person isn't getting me anywhere. But it's also in a stuck hold pattern. So it's kind of being held there. Um, it's kind of being held there in the sense that it feels like the only reason they're holding it is because they can. It's the last thing that they'll have to do with you. It's kind of like they know that once they let go of you, you're going to be out of their life for good. And they don't know how to handle that. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here with relationships. So if this isn't coming in as a family member, there's definitely a relationship that um, feels like just no longer jives, no longer meshes together. And uh, it's like you want a new, an entirely new start from this person. But then at the same time, you're realizing that um, with the Ace of Coins here, you're realizing that there's a whole world outside you have yet to explore. Maybe you've been with this person for a really, really long time, but they keep holding you back. This is a card of, you know, um, planting and trying to harvest and not getting anything in return. Notice that nothing here is, um, nothing here is good enough for her is ripe enough for her to pull off the tree. So again, with that holding pattern of putting time into things that um, you're not getting anything out of. It's like you don't want to continue to argue with this person because it just gives them what they want. Very sneaky individual. But it looks like you're coming to a definite close of these 10 phases. You've got a 10 of cups in reverse. And you've got a 10 of wands in reverse. 
still stuck because you're still in that 10 phase, but it looks like you're hopefully going to come to a close with that. Um, it no longer becomes your burden. I feel like you were unhappy for a, quite a long time with whatever was going on here. And there was a lot of sacrifices and time that went into being with somebody that, or dealing with someone in your family that wasn't quite right. And now they're just doing everything they can to be a pain in the ass. That's it. Not because they really need to or want to. They're just trying to be a thorn in your side. Maybe they're not as over it as they thought they were. It's like trying to hold on to your cake plus eat it too. They want this person on the side, but they also don't want to let go of you. I don't want you, but I don't want anyone else to have you. It's like one of those things. It's like they want to take a chance with a new person, but then at the same time, you're what they're used to. And it doesn't look like things will go very well with this person either. Um, you got the Three of Cups here in reverse. With the Fool. So they're really wanting to move forward. They're really wanting a new adventure with someone else, but you're what they're used to. And unfortunately, I feel like exactly what they're afraid of, coming from this Queen of Wands this opportunity not working itself out with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I feel like this is exactly what they're worried about. They walk away from you. What if this doesn't work out? It's almost like they need someone in their life. They don't want someone. They need someone. Or they just have an insane ego and a need for wanting both. Someone at home and someone that they can go out with. And they're showing some real feelings that you have for someone in your life. Really showing that um, that you feel like you've found your twin. You are in separation. I don't see you together, but you're definitely feeling that love for somebody. And although the person that you're with may not be fully aware that this person is there. Um, you're feeling as though you found your, your twin reason to celebrate new, you know, a new love, but you guys aren't together either. I feel like they also, you guys have way too much going on here with the queen of pentacles in reverse, have someone else in the situation that they're hanging on to. Um, this is a big cluster and a half. Aquarius. So in the middle of all of these proceedings or judicial proceedings or whatever here, you guys also have this happening with all these different connections to different people. It's getting confusing, guys. Like it's a party in in this bitch. You need to like cut some ties, get rid of some karma, get rid of some people. There is way too much going on up in here. Let me just say. It's like they want everything with you. They're not willing to give up their secrets. And they regret having those secrets. They regret having to be that person that they are. It's almost like they dislike themselves. But they're not willing to come forward with truths. And tell you what you want to know. It's a very conflicting situation. So there's you and your partner and then your partner has someone else and you have someone else and your partner's got all these things go holy mother of lord there's a lot of people involved in this relationship now I'm trying to think about if you have kids ooh yeah you're just at a crossroad you're ready for the change you just want this change to go through you want everything to stop um but you're you're facing a major major change here um, we're looking at death with the tower. 
that's a major transformation there because they both speak about change, change of the foundation, falling apart and rebuilding. Um, you know, death talks about transformation. It talks about becoming what you want to instead of what you are. Um, but it doesn't look like it's coming about in a nice way. It looks like it's just making scrambled eggs out of your life. That's what your life looks like to me right now. So this is what I have for you guys. Um, I'm going to continue to be spacing out videos uh, throughout the month uh, for copying reasons. That way, if mine come out late, then they can't be um, copied or imitated or anything like that. Um, but that is what I have for you. Okay, Aquarius, this is your girl Kelly coming straight at you from the Queen's Harrow Bee in Boston. Bedside with my cup of coffee. Oh, and by the way, today's good mood is sponsored by coffee which is a completely true statement at the moment. Okay, Aquarius, I will catch you guys in a couple of weeks. Until then, chin up.